in today's lesson, I'm going to revisit the heuristic scale on finding a pattern. It is an important scale by making a calculated guess instead of making random or wild guesses. So when a given question, you'll be asked to identify a pattern and predict the next or missing sequence. Mastering this concept will enable you to apply it in many PSLE questions of various topics. So let's get started. This is not an unfamiliar question to you if you've done some revision on PSLE questions. You probably get it right by simply counting on after you have identified the pattern. What do I mean? Let's see. So you see the letters and the first 14 letters are given by the way. So you look at the pad, um, at the sequence A, B, B, C, D and A starts again. So you will notice that the pattern of five letters, A, B, B, C, D, and then A, B, B, C, D, and so forth. So what do I mean by just counting on, you will get the answer? Because day one, 31st position, which is pretty small number. So if you have 14, and then you know the next letter is going to be letter, D according to the unit. This is what we call the unit pattern, the base. Okay, so you know it is D, which is 15. And using whatever that has been given here, you can count on to the 31st very, very easily because it is a small number. So D is 15, then you go 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. 31st position. And I get it. My answer will be A. But consider it. What if the question actually asks for 159 position? Or even greater where in paper 2, they might give you a bigger number in terms of 1,000. So are you still going to use this same method to solve the question? There are three simple steps to solve the question. Step number one, identify the pattern and quantity in one unit. What do I mean? Let's go to the sequence. Just now we have found out that 14 less letters are given and the sequence is A, B, B, C, D. And we see that A repeats again. So we will put a stop here. And so we have found the pattern of five letters repeating and so forth. So we have found the pattern and quantity of letters in one unit is five. So that's step number one. Step number two, find the number of groups or sets of repeated units. So A, B, B, C, D is one unit. Your job now is to find the number of these units. Given that we know there are 31st letters all together, we will use 31 divided by 5. Why do I divide by 5? Because there are 5 letters in one unit. So my answer will be 6 with remainder 1. So, what does 6 refers to? 6 here refers to 6 units of A, B, B, C, D A, B, B, C, D and this is 2 units and then there are a total of 6 of them that repeats itself in a uniform manner. The last step, then what do I do with the, remainder, uh, with the remainder? So we will use the remainder and count on to find the missing sequence. You will find that the number is much, much smaller now and it's easier to count on. So my, um, my remainder is 1, so I go back to the basic unit, which is A, and I count 1. So my answer is a this is a pretty easy question and the number is small 
So now let's try with a bigger number but with the same three steps. Let's try with this same question but to find the 159th position which is a larger number than the previous one. So step number one, we have to identify the pattern which we have already done so just now. The pattern is A, B, B, C, D, repeated and so forth. So, and the quantity in one unit is five. There are five letters in one pattern. Step number two, find the number of groups or sets of repeated units. So now the number is greater, which is 159. So we will use the total letters divided by the number of quantity in one unit, which is five. And our answer is 31 with remainder of four. So let's analyze the number a little bit. 31 refers to there are 31 groups of this repeated A, B, B, C, D, A, B, B, C, D, and so forth. And we have four remainders which are left alone that do not form a group. So the last step, using the remainder to, to count on and find the missing sequence, which is the 159th position. Okay, so let's start. There are four in total. So we will go one, two, three, and four. This, is, this gives us the answer, letter C. The main idea to solve this pattern question is to use the remainder to count on. So the most important thing here You have to find the remainder first and then you count on to find the missing, missing sequence. So step one and two helps you to find the remainder. Okay, let's take a look at this particular question. The number is still pretty manageable and you can still count on up to 47. But let's try solving using what we have learned just now. You may pause the video at this moment and then attempt the question before I go through it. Okay, let's start. Rina used stickers of four different shapes to make a pattern. So they have already told us it's four sticker per pattern. The first 12 stickers are shown below. What was the shape of the 47 sticker? Remember, you're not gonna count on all the way to 47. So there are a total of 47. So step number one, identify the pattern. We have done that. And the quantity in one unit, there are four. Okay, there are four um, different shapes in one unit. Step number two, find the number of groups. So I will use the total, which is 47, divided by four. And my answer will be 11. Okay, with remainder of three. So step number three, the most important step, is to use the remainders and count on the missing sequence. So my remainder is three. And there are 11 sets of this. So my three remainders will be one, two, three. And my answer is this particular shape, which is option number three as well. Pretty easy. Let's try the next question. Before I go through, you might want to read the question, pause the video and attempt it first. Okay, so let's start. The first 15 numbers of a number pattern are given below. So you have 4012, By just reading the number aloud, you can roughly tell the step one, which is identifying the pattern. The pattern will be the first four numbers here. Okay, so you box it up and you got one unit. So quantity, there are four numbers, four different numbers in one pattern itself. So the question asks, what is the 626 number? So step number two, find the number of groups. So you would take 626, which is the total divided by 4. 
you will get 156 with remainder 2. And the next step, remember, we are going to deal with the remainder because there are 156 of these groups. And they want to know the 626 number, the particular one. So looking at the remainder, the first one is 4. The second one is digit 0. So my answer to A is 0. Question A done. And usually that question is one mark. Okay, question two. What is the sum of the first 627 numbers? When they ask for the sum, they are referring to 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 and 4 plus 0 and so forth all the way till the first 627 numbers. Okay, before we start, you look at this number, 627 is different from the previous one, so you can't carry forward the previous step. You have to first find out what how many groups there are. Okay, so 627, same thing, I'm going to divide by 4. I will get 156 with remainder 3. Okay, working on that, I have to find out the sum of one group. Okay, what do I mean? The sum of this particular group here. So, 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 is equals to 7. Next step, I know there are a total of 156 groups. Correct? So, if one group, there are 7, 156 groups, there will be 156 times 7 and my answer will be 1092 let me check with my calculator yep okay and not forgetting we have the three remainders the three digits behind so 1092 plus 4 plus 0 and plus 1. These are the three following digits. So my final answer will be 1097. And that's it. At this point in time, if you have any questions or you'd like me to go through more examples on the previous questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to go through one last question of the day. As you advance with this concept of finding patterns, you will see a variety of questions popping up and they all seem different. But don't worry because the concept is the same. But always check what the question is asking for and what they want from you. So let's take a look at this question. A row of ribbon is made up of white, grey, and black segments. In case you are wondering, the color is not clear. This is white, this is gray, and then it's white, this is black. Okay, let me write down this is black, and then this is gray. So, first step find the pattern, identify the pattern. Since we started with white, it should end with white, um, as in the next pattern should be white. So, if you're wondering that this is the next pattern, but if you move on, white, grey, but white, the next one is black. So, this is not the pattern. So, it has to have more than just two um, ribbons, segments. So, white, grey, white, black. This is one group, but we have another grey here. And the first one is always white. So here we have one more white here. So let me draw a line down here. And let's check if our pattern is correct. So white, grey, white, black, grey. So next one should be white. And then grey again. White. Then black. 
and then grey. And so forth, you will see white appearing. So we are right. This is the pattern. And the quantity would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 segments in one unit. Okay, next, let's see what the question wants from us. A piece of 60 centimeter ribbon is cut from the row. In that piece, how many grey segments are there? And from the question, you know that every segment is one centimeter. So which means every color itself is one centimeter. So since there are five different segments and in one group, we shall same thing, find out the number of groups. That is our step number two. So we'll take the total, which is 60, divided by 5. And we get the answer of 12. So what does this 12 represent? This 12 represents 12 of these groups. And the question, they do not want to know what is the colour in the number pattern. But instead, they ask us how many grey segments are there. So let's look at the question again. In one segment, how many grey colour segments are there? So, let's see. There's one and there's two. Okay, so we know there are two in each segment. So, to answer the question, there are a total of 12 groups. And if one group, there's two, um, two grey segments, there will be 12 times 2, which is 24 grey segments. And my answer will be option 4. We have come to the end of today's revision on finding the pattern. There are more than one question to finding a pattern and I will be going through more in future. So please press subscribe and share. And you can always look through the videos again if you need help again because they are always available online. Thank you.